Watch you guys, is Linux better than Windows? That's what we're going to be talking about in this video and also find out what is the best operating system for you. Now I'm not going to say what is the best operating system because basically the best operating system is always going to be down to what the user wants and if you use Linux on a daily basis and it does everything you want it to do then obviously that's going to be the best operating system for you. Now obviously there's a lot of people out there that use Windows that want to maybe take the leap of faith to Linux but are not sure what they can do and what they can't do in Linux and also uh, it is a steep learning curve when you've been using Windows for such a long time but it doesn't mean that you can't make that leap of faith and change your operating system. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the key features that Linux has to offer and also what Windows has to offer. So first off let's talk about uh, Linux itself which is free to use, it's open source and uh, they are two of the key features that some people uh, may be interested in. Now if you're a Windows user you obviously have to buy a retail copy of Windows and that can cost you in excess of $300 to buy a version of Windows 10. Now obviously another thing for Linux which gives it the edge is the amount of uh, versatility and variety of uh, distributions that you have available uh, to you. There is tons of different types of distros and distributions available uh, to you uh, which you can download for free and install and because they're open source that gives you access to all the source code of that operating system which then leads me to my next thing which is customization it allows you to customize your operating system to your needs whereas windows makes it a little bit more difficult because a lot of the operating system files are locked down and you will have to use uh, patching software to uh, allow you to um, create your own themes and stuff like that which is a big no-no for me because you don't know where these uh, files are come from or these patching files where they're coming from so you can make small adjustments to Windows, but you can do massive customization to uh, Linux operating systems. And also, you, if you're clever enough, you can create your own distro if that's what you want to do. So programming is a big plus side on uh, Linux. Now, security is another big topic that people like to talk about when it comes to Linux. And they say that Linux is impregnable to malware and you won't get infected and this is simply not true basically when you look at the market share that windows has it makes sense for cyber criminals to go after um, windows users because they have such a mass market share and a lot more people are using windows it's not that it's more easier to infect it's just the fact that they've got the mass market now on the downside of windows when you install windows it does install you as administrator whereas linux installs you as a limited user which makes it a little bit more, less likely to get infected so when you put linux in windows shoes you'll probably see the same problem now there is malware out there that does infect linux and there's also ransomware out there that can infect linux also so it's just basically the mass line share that uh, Windows has, this is why you're seeing as so much malware. But Windows 10 has uh, tightened that up and it's not as easy to infect Windows 10 as it was in previous versions of Windows. So next up would be support. What would be the support like for Linux users if they had the monopoly that Windows has? Well, as I know myself, I have been to try to get support for Linux issues and uh, the support was pretty poor whereas windows there is freely available to get support for windows problems all over the internet and even on microsoft's uh, forum based site you can get support there if you want to and you will get quite a quick response now i found the response from uh, the community of linux users to be quite quite slow and sometimes ignored and another big problem you may have is put it into to perspective here if you had linux with the amount of lion share that windows has right now the support would be absolutely abysmal and uh, they would be falling flat on their face because they haven't got the amount of support for that operating system as it is right now so i just know if it was the boot was on the other foot 
you would probably see a, a real big problem with Linux and try to resolve issues. Now, another big problem with Linux and Windows compared these both together is compatibility with hardware. Now, Windows pretty much works out of the box. You, you turn it on and it will start to work. You download and install software off the internet and it works. It's been designed to work with Windows and it works quite well. With Linux, it works well with old systems, but the amount of hardware and software that we have available makes makes it much more difficult to make it more compatible uh, with uh, Linux. And I think that's just due to the fact that um, uh, it's not as compatible as Windows. So probably we'll have to give that to Windows uh, for having much more better hardware compatibility and software compatibility over Linux, in my personal opinion. You will run into problems with Linux and it will be a bit of a, a nightmare to get working, whereas Lin Windows just works straight away when you install it. And all the drivers, you can generally get those straight away installed off of Microsoft. And if that doesn't work, you can go to the manufacturer's website for the motherboard and download it. Now, sometimes this is not down to Linux's problem. It's generally down to the uh, software or hardware creators. They don't make it as compatible with Linux. And Linux is always on the back burner. It's never, ever thought about. And it's the same thing with software and games. Some software and applications are not compatible on Linux. That's because not Linux can't run them. It's just that the software companies don't create a version for Linux to work properly. Uh, they seem to, because it's such a small minority of people that are using it, they seem to just uh, don't put the energy into creating a piece of software to make it work uh, with Linux. And that sort of uh, can go on and on with that sort of uh, topic there because that is a uh, quite a broad uh, topic. Another thing that we're going to be talking about as well is the uh, privacy. Now, privacy for Windows 10 has always been a big concern about data collection, about collecting data and, and information, whereas Linux doesn't have that problem. And uh, that's a real big plus side uh, for Linux. And uh, I don't see that changing in the foreseeable future. It is open source. And I don't see them collecting data uh, to, you know, do whatever they want to do with it or what they're doing with it. Now, on the other side of it, there, there's always data being collected on the Internet anyway, whether you're using YouTube, whether you're using Google, whether you're, uh, you know, surfing habits, it all gets collected by your ISP and the list goes on and on and on. So really, are you immune to being collected uh, data from uh, when you're using Linux? Probably not, because data will be collected uh, via your browser. And you're going to get some smart one saying, oh, use DuckDuckGo or, or something like that. Well, everyone collects data. Even your VPN service will collect data. Uh, they say they don't, but they will do. I'm pretty sure of it. And uh, that's just the way it works. Now, reliability and stability is another topic we can talk about for Linux and Windows. Now, when you install software on Windows, you generally have to reboot. And of course, when you do that uh, uninstallation, you have to reboot. And a lot of other things like updates and things like that, what you're running on Windows, you're generally forced to reboot all the time. Whereas Linux doesn't need to do that a lot of the time. It doesn't need to reboot. You can just carry on using the operating system. I think even the way you get applications and the way you get updates is a lot more easier uh, on Linux in that sense. Also, fixing uh, little small problems on a Linux operating system is sometimes better because they will fix it with a small little update, whereas Windows, you're going to generally have to wait for a massive big patch or an update from Microsoft to be released. So generally, these are uh, going to be going to Linux in a sense for uh, stability and reliability in that sense. There has been some massive problems with Windows 10 over the over the coming uh, months and, and years even, you know, and it's just using people as guinea pigs to fix problems. And every release they make seems to uh, be worse than the predecessor. Now, some people say, oh, well, I'm having no problems with this version of Windows 10. Well, you've got to remember, there's a lot of different hardware out there and the way we're progressing in uh, technology, it seems that you know, before you know it, you bought a motherboard six months ago and already that's old hat and it's uh, moving forward. They're talking about DDR5 and it's just continually rapidly growing faster and faster. 
and uh, it, they're sort of very hard to keep up with. Another thing that Windows suffers from is uh, a lot of problems like blue screen of death and crashes and stuff like that. You don't get a lot of that with Linux, to be honest with you. It's much more stable uh, in that sense. And normally it can run without being rebooted for many, many years. You don't need to normally reboot uh, Linux, whereas Windows tends to have to be rebooted quite a lot uh, to obviously be a lot more stable and uh, a lot more better because it starts becoming sluggish, whereas Linux just keeps running and running. So there is some plus points for Linux uh, over Windows in that sort of sense. Now, also another thing that Linux is good for is it can revive old computers, really old computers, laptops, and also notebooks and, and old computers. You can generally install a version of Linux of your choice and it will run straight away and you'll get a really beautiful experience from it. And if you chuck in an SSD, it's even better. And you can actually bring a new lease of life into that old piece of hardware by installing Linux. So that's a really good plus side. Whereas if you've got an old uh, Windows operating system on an old laptop and you try to put Windows 10 on it, it will do the reverse. It will be so sluggish and so slow because it's not compatible with that sort of thing. So that's where... Linux comes into its own, in my personal opinion. Now, where Windows is king right now is the application support and also better support for AAA listed games. Now, Windows in general is better for gaming than Linux. We know that. But Linux has come on a long way when it comes down to uh, playing games on it. Now, there is a lot of games that won't play on Linux and you have to jump through a lot of hoops to get some of the games to even work. And I was watching a guy called Chris Titus Tech or something like that that says that Linux is better than Windows for gaming. And uh, he's obviously not a gamer because if he was, he wouldn't be saying that. There is a lot more better support for games on Windows than Linux and that's just a fact. And of course, you've that's not down to Linux's fault. That's down to the creators of the game where they don't make a version for Linux. And that's sometimes always the case. It just doesn't play well uh, with Linux. Now, it doesn't mean to say that it doesn't run smoothly on Linux because sometimes you do get a lot of smooth gameplay on Linux over Windows. But to say that Linux is better at playing games than Windows is a bit clickbaity in my personal opinion. Ease of use, I suppose we can talk about ease of use. I think that has to go to Windows. It's so easy to use. And, uh, you know, I think Linux is a little bit more of a steep learning curve, a bit more of an enthusiast sort of operating system, in my personal opinion. Uh, command line, a lot of stuff is command line based. And I think it could be a little bit more difficult for the average or beginner user uh, to use uh, Linux. It's not to say that you can't learn something. If you've been with Windows since time begun, uh, going over to Linux will be very, very difficult for those people. But it's not to say you shouldn't give it a try, because I think everyone should try to install Linux and give it a go at some point in their life and see whether you like it or not. Now, what I will say is I don't like to say what is the best operating system, uh, because obviously the best operating system is the one that works best for you. But what I will say is if you are going to leave Windows uh, make sure you do it properly and go to Linux, choose a distro and stick with it. What I do see quite a lot is Windows users uh, going to Linux and then keeping one foot in uh, Windows because Linux can't do certain things like play certain games or can't play uh, certain applications because it's not compatible with it. And the thing is, you're going to have to uh, make your choice whether you want to be with Windows or Linux. It, it's really difficult to play with both and fully uh, immerse yourself into the Linux experience when you've still got one foot in Windows. Another thing I see beginner Linux users doing is distro hopping quite a lot. They go from one distro to another, uh, different types of uh, operating systems. And this is generally uh, a no-no because it ends up becoming very confusing and you start losing the faith of Linux and eventually you end up going back to Windows. You need to take the plunge choose a, dist a distribution that you like and stick with it and learn it and you should be pretty much good to go. And once you start getting fully immersed in the Linux experience, you can then start to try other things out and try other uh, distributions. But that is a common thing. They go backwards and forwards from Linux to Windows, from Windows to Linux, and eventually it, they just never sort of reside anywhere 
in any operating system and are in limbo really but other than that i think that's going to be about it i've rabbited on enough uh, about linux and windows and uh, you choose which one you want to use personally i use windows as my daily driver i do have a linux uh, installed um, on a laptop and on a, a computer which i do use occasionally uh, but again i don't put much time or effort into it anymore uh, as as i used to again it's entirely up to you what you want to do and go with what you uh, feel is right if you want to move away from the uh, spine thing if that's your thing then go over to linux and stick there anyway i think i'm going to wrap this one up that's about it for this video my name has been Brian from BrightechComputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out. Bit of a, a, a podcasty video here for you. But I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.